morning. Welcome to my channel. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is an amazing place. I want to talk about politicians and the fun they're having right now trying to imprison Trump and, and DeSantis. The, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. I never liked the dude. I always thought he was a politician, which I don't trust. And it turns out Ron DeSantis is basically the good cop for the globalist. That he's going to be the good cop for them until they control everything and then he's going to turn on the people just like everybody else does. Just like Bill Barr did. Remember that guy he was supposed to look into all, investigate all the corruption and he ended up being one of the corrupt fuckers? And he just told half of America to go fuck themselves? What, 200 million people almost? Told to go fuck yourself. And he has, he's okay with that. He doesn't have any fear of telling half of the population to go fuck themselves. See, this is the problem with politicians. They have no fear. Nancy has no fear. Chuck Schumer has no fear. Obama has no fear. Macron. They have no fear. Trudeau. They have no fear of their own people. That's a problem. And we need to work on it. Here's the thing. I was thinking about that earlier. We are living right now in the Back to the Future, the second one, where Biff gets the almanac for the sports almanac and he makes the bets and he becomes rich and it gets really dark. That's what we're living in. The reality I should have had is not the reality I'm living in. I'm still me. I'm still awesome. I'm the emperor of the universe, please. Even with my bad back, I'm still awesome. Right? But I'm in the wrong universe. I'm in the wrong reality. A lot of us are. We the, Nothing feels right. Nothing is right. And all the darkness in the world is running the world. All these corrupt assholes, and they're laughing because they own the media. They own the corporations. They own the, the people you see on television smiling and lying to your face. They, they own them. They own all the athletes. They own, all, they own everything. So you can't say anything bad about them. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I'm not bringing up certain things, so hopefully that will help. But I, I do believe that the, I mean, Ron DeSantis, what a joke. I just, I mean, my dad's going to be a little booty hurt about that one because he kind of liked the guy. But I'm just like, nah, I don't trust any of them. I don't trust anybody but me. I trust me. I don't believe in isms. I only believe in me. That was John Lennon, by the way. Anyway, the point is, is it's it's weird. We do. Think about that. We're living in the in the Back to the Future where Biff's running the show because nothing seems right. It's all out of whack. We need to get it back to right. Okay, we need to get back to, to, to passion and empathy and love for all our humanity, not just the rich assholes. Everybody counts, babe. And we need to get rid of all this fentanyl crap. I don't know what the hell this is and where it's coming from. When they had to actually, when Portland's having a problem with fentanyl, be, I don't know, people smoking fentanyl on the, on the light rails and stuff, or people have to, I'm not even kidding, just look, Google it. I'm just telling you. There's a lot of stuff going on, and... It's getting weird, and I would like for, you know, Michael J. Fox to come back to the future. Let's go to the cowboy one. That was a good one. The third back to the future, right? You know what I'm saying? Then we can get it all back to right. And he has the badass Toyota, black Toyota 4x4 in the, in the garage. You know what I'm talking about? That's badass. What was that, 85, 86? Anyway, the point is, is we need to get back to right. Back to the future the right way. Because, yeah, I did pass a video about the Sphinx and the time displacement or something. And I do believe that somebody's messing with something because it is, it is, we're in the Biff. We're in the Biff reality of the Back to the Future. This is going to be a fun video. Anyway, this is just it. We're in a messed up reality. Um, Ron DeSantis is just another globalist. He's just the good cop for the bad cop globalists. But yeah, I already saw that coming. So I, I'll do it. If you guys really need somebody who's really not, I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I love everybody, so, you know, I'd be a really great president, honestly. I'd be a great emperor of the universe. Oh, well, I am the emperor of the universe. But, I mean, an emperor of the world, I don't know. It don't have to be, like, nothing big. I don't have to own no militaries. Here's, I'd get rid of everything. If I was the emperor of the, the world, think about it. Who are we fighting? I run everything. If I run everything, I'm fighting myself? No, I'm here for you. So, technically, there wouldn't be no need for bombs. There wouldn't be no need for tanks. Fighter jets, destroyers, sh ships, you know. Any, none of it. Grenades, none of it. We don't need none of it. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. We don't need none of it. Who are we fighting? Ourselves? <sighs> anyway, 
I love you. Have a wonderful day. And hopefully this video turns out and it's going to be an interesting title. We'll figure it out. Anyway, back to the future. Love you.